members of nonprofit organizations helping people in Haiti tell us they are now risking their lives to try to help those families as chaos and gangs grip the nation. And tonight we're hearing from people with one of those nonprofits. Steve King joins us now live with how leaders of Haiti Awake are putting it all on the line to try to help their neighbors in Port-au-Prince amid the turmoil. Steve. Jade, well, I spoke with Steve Durard with Haiti Awake. Now, Haiti Awake is all about helping the people of Port-au-Prince in any way that organization leaders can. But Port-au-Prince right now is under gang rule with violent gangs roaming the street. So when Steve Durard goes outside to try to help people there, he's risking it all. Steve Durard says in order to get around the Port-au-Prince area, which is under gang rule, he's finding people willing to take him on a motorcycle on the streets as Durard sits on the back. That way he can deliver food or other needed supplies to people trapped inside. It's not easy. Sometimes it's risky, uh, but we, we, we do what we can do. We cannot drive a, a vehicle, but if we know somebody with, with a motorcycle that we choose, uh, that can take us to the destination. We'll take a motorcycle and we will do what we can do. One of our financial supporters told Steve and another senior staff member that they were heroes. Even amid the turmoil, Haiti Awake has pressed on to help the Port-au-Prince community. The organization continues to help educate and give children an opportunity to play at the Haiti Youth Center in Port-au-Prince. There are also video calls set up for the kids to get lessons virtually, kids can get help with their homework, and there are church services for the families. Haiti Awake leaders also built toilets at the juvenile prison after a need arose and brings the inmates food as well. So stop doing what we are doing. We will keep doing what we can do and take advantage of the day we have and celebrate it and thanks God for it and take it as a blessing and keep doing what we are doing to glorify God. They inspire me to do what I can do each day, um, to get up and be faithful because that is what they've been. They've been faithful day by day, not just this last month when it's been exceptionally difficult, but through the years. And I spoke with Missionary Flights International based out of Fort Pierce. They say tomorrow another plane carrying people leaving Haiti will be arriving at Treasure Coast International Airport. Reporting live, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.